All these three photos are shot by the latest Google phone, it's the Pixel 9 Pro XL. And what are you going to see in this video? First things first, a comparison between 12 megapixel photos versus 50 megapixel photos, and then also 50 megapixel raw images. Then I'm gonna show you some action shots from the same phone. Again, we're gonna have a flavor of 12 megapixel, 50 megapixel also raw. The idea is just to realize how good is the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL as a point to shoot camera all right so obviously it's not perfect all the time but some shots oh boy some shots are really flawless and if you have interest in the google pixel 9 pro xl then you're more than welcome to watch my full review and all the other comparison that i did so let's buckle up and start the first comparison is 12 megapixel on the left versus 50 megapixel on the right you can see here the file name extension all the details the aperture also the iso and everything else the histogram is also going to be displayed here and of course you can also check the resolution so this is the one-to-one -one comparison and it looks almost the same but here when we do 12 versus 50 megapixel the devil is in the details so let's start zooming in and before we start zooming in, guys just pay attention to everything not only to the center of the image but also everything else around let's first check the greenery i'm going to start zooming in on the greenery and i do believe that here this is one of the biggest differences for sure in the 50 megapixel photo we have just more there like if i start to zoom in i can clearly see the leaves and all the branches and a 12 megapixel at that level of zoom 300 yeah it is not going well because 12 megapixel is already at 300 percent and the 50 megapixel photo is only n 150 when i am at this level it almost look identical honestly 300 percent here only 150 here it seems that it's not so big of a difference, right? But when you start to zoom in more and more, and if I try to even this out, you're gonna see that here the image really degradates. And of course, at 255%, the image here is not perfect, but clearly there is just more information. So again, 50 megapixel will just give you more of that detail. If you want to really capture beautiful landscape photos, well for sure 50 megapixel is for you and of course there is also some difference into the exposure just see here the leaves but check the greenery here basically all the shadows are better exposed here right we can clearly see a lot of it and here on that side the exposure just went down together with the detail so again no big surprises one to one almost the same and again when you start to zoom in then the devil is in these very little details the shot on the left is 12 megapixel, the shot in the center is 50 megapixel and then I have the shot on the right which is 50 megapixel raw, it's a DNG file. Now let's just first check one to one. Again, when we start to zoom in, we can clearly see 50 megapixel is able to preserve just more information at that zoom level, that's clearly to be seen. But also let's check these details here. Okay, 12 megapixel, a bit more artificial, start to degradate a bit more like a padding. Just take a look at the reading here. Final Moscow 2008, I do believe this is Manchester United versus Chelsea. This information is just not there. You can probably recognize this is Manchester United logo, but yeah, you have to be really good at football to know what it is here. And this is the raw photo, guys. Now, let me show you what you can do with the raw photo. Let's try to manipulate it. This is now the raw photo at 50 megapixel. You can clearly see the detail is there. It looks a bit oversaturated, but you know that these things can be really fixed in post. So I can play with the saturation, I can increase it like this, or I can just decrease it to be a bit better. I can also try to hit auto here, or let's say develop it in black and white. This is what I'm gonna get at the end. And I can also click HDR, but this is unnecessary. Now, the most important thing is here, what can we do when we try to limit the highlights? All right, we can see all the highlights going up to plus 100 going down so yep detail seems to be still here and the same with the shadows i can pump them up without much of a degradation and i can also limit them and this also is valid for the other things let's continue with an example and now i'm jumping to some action shots because this thing is very important for people that just want to take the camera out of the pocket point it and shoot it well you know it's called point to shoot my model here was jumping from the rock and I can tell you guys, most of the pictures were good. Some were not that great because we can see here, yeah, there is already a lot of blur and this detail is gone. But take a look at this shot here. It's absolutely perfect, absolutely everything 
frozen in time and this only is here to prove that with the pixel product cell you can get shots like this well just try several shots most of them are going to work another action shot example now i thought this was great when looking on the phone but now back home on the 32 inch monitor yeah not that great but the one on the left and the one on the right is just absolutely fantastic and i'll take a look at this one here this is absolutely fantastic i mean this photo is so good i'm so happy with my boys i will just probably print this out and put it somewhere to just look at this because it's simply amazing like everything pretty much frozen in time and um, this is also another important example here guys i have more light does the phone was absolutely sharp using 1 over 1168 here you can see 1 over 8, 9, 2 seconds, but again, because the light wasn't enough here, it is a bit blur. But also a very much good example because both of my boys were jumping and I was able to just freeze them in time. And some more extra short examples. Again, this one on the left is good, but when you look at the sandals, it isn't the best. This on the right, absolutely amazing and fantastic. It really looks like out of an action movie. Absolutely gorgeous and I love it. And now guys, a raw comparison, 12 megapixel raw on the left versus 50 megapixel raw on the right. And you can see because it's raw, I guess it's a bit underexposed, but you know we can fix this. And it's also very important to understand how the Pixel 9 Pro XL is handling 12 megapixel and 50 megapixel raw because I've seen some phones that apply a whole lot of different processing and it just looks like from another camera. This shows like 50 and 12. In this case, I do believe very, very much the same. And again, one more observation, the more I start to zoom in, the more we can clearly see the advantages between the 50 megapixel versus the 12 megapixel. Just take a look at the bench, right? On the right, 50 megapixel and here on the left. Both are raw files, DNG, 12 megapixel on the left and 50 megapixel on the right. Now let's just take the 50 megapixel one and try to play with it a bit to see what we're gonna be able to achieve. I'm first gonna hit the auto develop and it's just a bit too saturated for my taste so I can just tone it down a bit. And now let's try to see what happens when we try to limit the highlights. All right, we can go like this and you can pretty much see, right, uh, that when I'm playing with the highlights, shadows are still there. There is a lot of detail that is in this shot just because it's a raw image. Same applies to the shadows. You can see from 100, right, I can just go and develop it like this 100 plus or I can go down and limit it like this for a more dramatic shot. And of course, there is the black and white, which is also a cool way to play with the photos. Now take a look at this shot. I do believe that with this particular shot, I can demonstrate a bit more why it's so important sometimes to shoot raw. And, and I know people, by the way, that only shoot raw, which kind of makes sense if you're really obsessed over good photography and being able to really manipulate in post. Now, this here is a 12 megapixel raw on the left and on the right we have a 50 megapixel one but because i'm using fast stone image viewer and it doesn't really develop them in the best way now this here are the same shots the 12 megapixel dng raw file and the 50 megapixel on the right again dng raw this time i'm using the adobe photoshop lightroom classic and it's more developed it looks proper now i'm gonna again choose the version that is 50 megapixel and show you what you can do. So first, again, you can do the black and white thing and go HDR, pump it like crazy, but this will kind of boost a lot of the highlights, will not look great. Now, I'm gonna show you what are the maximum. You can do plus 100 on the highlights and you can see how stable the shadows remain, or you can underdevelop them to minus 100 and you can achieve something like this that is less dramatic and you can pretty much do the same. So if I go to plus 100, it's going to get a bit more like an HDR look. And if I do something like minus 100 and even I pump a bit more the highlights, we are able to achieve this very dramatic look. And you can also, of course, play with the saturation. Plenty of things as well. Right, you can play with the texture, right, and with clarity. You know this stuff better than me, but this is just how powerful raw images in this case are. And finally, some more action shots, 12 megapixel everywhere. And you can see how good they are. This one in particular is very nice because everything again frozen in time. This one on the center also looks very good. And the last sample is again from some action shots. I decided to do some without a lot of light just to see what is gonna happen, and yes without a lot of light it is still not perfect but you can clearly recognize the object and i do believe that the pixel pro 9 xl is doing overall a great job here guys 
let me know what you think down below in the comments and again if you're interested into all the other pixel stuff then just please visit the last few videos thank you so much for watching guys stay safe we'll see you over and